Hello, today we are going to learn basic fundamentals of how to dimension an architectural, engineering or technical drawing. How to dimension circles and circular shapes. If we have a complete circle, we always indicate the diameter and we must be careful not to coincide it with the construction lines axis, axis as can be seen here on the screen. So in this case, we put it at a 45 degree angle and the dimension symbol is optional. So if the piece is, is a cylinder, as can be seen here, from the side view, we can locate the dimension on either end of the cylinder. But in this case, it is mandatory to put the diameter symbol, obviously, so people can realize that they are looking at a cylindrical shape rather than a rectangle. If we have to dimension more complex cylindrical shapes, as can be seen here on the screen, with two different circle sizes in the view, where you can see the circumferences, we only put a maximum of two diameter dimensions ever. So if the shape has three or more concentric cylinders or circles, we must locate them on the other view, which we can see in examples three and examples four. To find this rule, if we have this kind of concentric cylindrical shapes, we can define them perfectly correct with only this view as shown here on the screen. How to dimension shapes with arcs, radiuses and chamfers. To dimension arcs less than 180 degrees, we use dimension radiuses and are, there are three different styles that we can use depending on the size of the arc and the space available in the drawing. The first one is the dimension value and the arrowhead are inside the arc. The second style is the arrowhead is inside the arc and the dimension value and dimension line outside the arc. And in the third one is everything is outside the arrowhead dimension value as can be seen here. If the center of the arc that we are dimensioning is too long to fit in the drawing, we can draw only a part of the radius, but it can be aligned with the center, as can be seen here on the screen. Spherical dimensions. When dimensioning a sphere, before the dimension value, we always put capital S to indicate it's a sphere. When we have a sphere less than 180 degrees, we write SR, which is the spherical radius. When it's greater than 180 degrees, we write S and dimension symbol. And you don't need to draw the full diameter, but you need to indicate the full diameter value. And in case number three, when it's close to a complete sphere, we draw the full diameter and therefore we don't need the dimension symbol after the capital S in the dimension value. I hope you find this helpful. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you. Bye-bye.